Well, good morning, everybody. Decided to head to to the, to the big river today, but stipulation is I don't have any gas. <laughs> but what we do have is a let's see, fully charged lithium battery. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to put the boat in and use the lithium battery to go fishing 10 fish you know if they're three inches or 16 inches they count uh you know no time limit the heat index today is 110 it's already getting hot i'm starting about eight o'clock so let's do it so we are out here name of the game one bridge challenge i've never fished this bridge a day in my life uh, i've heard about the bridge you know there's there's been fish caught here that people have told me uh this bridge is way up the saluda river the big saluda river so switch to the chest cam oh, so we got our 2d going we are going to use 2d just to cover the depth i really doubt it's going to show us exactly where fish are but out here in the middle of the channel we got 84 degree water 20 feet deep uh it's currently 9 47 a.m so in my opinion with it being 10 a.m 84 degree water there's 20 feet where i am right now so this one this pillar right here should technically be the deepest pillar so that's where i'm going to start so let's talk about the setup 164 ounce jig head micro minnow crappy man green uh 132 a split shot we've got this on a pc fun real ugly stick crappy rod six six and this should be all we need to do i do have my 13 foot pole but i really doubt that's going to play a part i mean this time of year you want a six six to eight foot foot rod and just slowly jig around so we're gonna start right here on this pillar you know i'm not gonna look around for brush i'm gonna fish the bridge itself because that's where i believe the fish should be to be probably 110 degree heat index today so honestly staying in the shade is gonna be key but pulling up to this bridge you see how it goes to nine feet and we were in 20 feet we're definitely not gonna be fishing 20 feet deep so that indicates I probably need to be fishing four to six feet around these pillars. So I'll start casting around and see what we can stick. Now the whole time, the, the technique is gonna be, I'm just gonna cast out and let it pendulum back to the boat and use the, my foot on a trolling motor to move this jig around and try to you know figure out where a strike zone is or anything now see i got slack in my line now and i didn't throw out very far so what that's telling me is there's a a, a pillar or something under the water that's going to keep uh like a ledge or something so actually i want to cast out from that ledge at about six feet yeah there's the wind that's what i'm talking about i don't know how good the camera audio is going to be with the wind but it's definitely going to make this feel a lot better but I'm just doing small casts and letting that jig come back to under my rod. And then I'm going to pop it every now and then. But I'm going to use the trolling motor to find these fish. You know, the trolling motor is going to keep me in certain spots. It's going to move me around. It's going to move that jig around at the same time. I mean, I'm going to pick up and cast too, but that's pretty much the gist of how I'm going to figure these fish out. First pillar that I thought was the deepest pillar which I mean, I, it, it, I believe it is, but it's got such a big ledge on it. It comes up like nine feet of water. So not exactly sure how I feel about that. So we're gonna go to the next one. Uh, currently almost 10 a.m. I think we spent about 15 minutes on that first pillar. So just gotta break it down. I mean, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be one cast and it's gonna be on, I mean, you got to figure them out. 
So we're gonna pull up to this next one and we're just gonna pitch around it and see what pulls out our line. This is all about breaking it down. Now, yeah, if you had four facing sonar, you'd cut this time completely in half. I'd already be catching fish, but we don't have it. So this is how you got to break it down. You've got to fish it. I mean, uh, you can side scan it or something and try to find them, but I don't have it. So we're just going to fish until we stick one and then we're going to repeat that and hopefully stick some more. There's a fish. All right. <clears throat> Not a keeper, but that fish didn't bite at all. It's a start, though. It's probably a, I don't know, six and a half, seven inch fish. So there is crappy on this bridge. All right. So that one was probably, like I said, about six foot down. But when I tell you, like, if I didn't have the experience to set the hook, a novice fisherman would have never caught that fish because he didn't bite at all. I picked up, I felt like I was hung, and I just, I kept coming with it and he was there. But that gives me a depth range of where I can, you know, start targeting. So. A weird bite, but it could be an indication to something. I mean, there's crappy here. I'm, I'm telling y'all, bridge is a whole crappy. It don't matter what freaking bridge you go to. There's a daggone crappy somewhere on that bridge. I've been here 15 minutes, or no, probably 25 minutes. So, I mean, this bridge may be full of small ones. I don't know. But that's one fish down out of the 10 fish challenge oh god that's a giant something oh a foul hook something or it's a catfish i don't know which one <laughs> catfish oh no now i gotta retire come on bro Yeah, this pillar's ruined for a little bit. Let him play out. Nice little channel cat. But we'll get him off the hook and we'll head over here to the next pillar and try it for a little bit. Because now we got really light wind, so honestly, I'm just going to throw the 164 with a micro. I'm going to trim a little bit more off that tag, though. I mean, we may put another split shot on, but I believe with the light wind, we should be fine. Because really, I mean, getting one bite, I really don't know the exact depth of these fish at all. But we're on this other pillar. We're going to let that catfish pillar chill out for a little bit. I felt like a bite there. Catfish are fun to fight, but that's one of the... Seems like every time I do one of these lock challenges, I catch a catfish. <laughs> There's one. Another little baby. But it's fish on the next pillar, so that's a good sign. I don't know why they wouldn't fish on the first pillar. So that one was kind of pretty much the same same deal as the last one. Barely bit. So maybe they're just not active right now and they're just feeding because it's in their face or something. Not sure. I mean, maybe I'm just, 
out of the game right now. I can't feel them. <laughs> Definitely possible. But let's fish two of ten. So eight more to go. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> hey, it counts, guys. Three of ten. Nice little four incher. Look how big that sucker is. Oh man, that's a giant right there. <laughs> Bridges have fish year round. I'm hoping this video makes you a daggum believer. We're not doing anything special. I mean, I'm sitting here talking to you. We just casting it out a little bit and letting it fall. It don't get no easier than this. Stop making crappy fishing complicated. Figure out what depth they're at and hold jig above it. They're either gonna bite it or they ain't. Oh God, another catfish. <laughs> I guess this is the catfish hole. number four <laughs> push to a little minnow 1.5 inch still in the crappy man green though not a keeper but number four <laughs> that one actually thumped it maybe they want something a little bit bigger than the micro all right, so it's been about an hour since our last bite. We're four out of 10, so I'm gonna safely assume this is gonna be a daggum grind <laughs> for little fish. So I switched back to the micro minnow. I'm going through the pillars again now. About to be over here where the catfish was. Uh, we'll probably catch another one of those. <laughs> the wind's picking up again though, so that might fire them up, I hope. Get something going on. So maybe we'll catch a crappy over here instead of a catfish. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I believe there's fish here. It's just, I mean, like I was saying in my last video, the majority of your deeper fish are going to be small. You kind of got to just weed through them. But I mean, that's not the challenge today. The challenge today is to catch 10 crappy on a bridge I've never fished. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> Okay, I'll put monkey milk on first cast. Better fish, still not a good one. Number six. All right, maybe we figure something out. My trolling motor went closer to that bridge pillar and I kind of see kind of where they're at. They're only about four feet deep. So a lot of my casts, I was definitely fishing a little bit too deep in my opinion. The winds changed direction now. I don't know if that's gonna have any anything to do with anything, but we'll throw this monkey milk around. See if we can't secure what uh I need four more. That was, that was number six. So got two fish in the last seven minutes. It's not too shabby. Hopefully we can keep it up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes. Seven. Three more. Still nothing to write home about. Mon micro monkey milk. Pretty much the same cast I caught the other one. So. I'm hoping I can do that three more times. 
So the wind changed direction, so it was pushing me this way. It was pushing me this way. People up here paddling, so I'm going to pause the challenge real quick. I ain't got no gas, but let's see if they need help. At least tow them to the boat ramp. I've been in a position where I've had to paddle before. It ain't fun. Hey, you want me to pull you in? I'm pulling you I think I can pull you if you need me to. I appreciate that. I hate to mess you up. Oh, you're good. I ain't got no gas in the motor, but I can pull you with a lot of tra the trolling motor. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. I was up there and that first cove took back in there and the thing cut off. I tried to pull it out. <laughs> yeah, I seen you paddling. I was like, yeah, let me go see yeah, if he needs some help. Wayne. something that isn't impossible i thought this one was going to be impossible given of how hot it is but I mean, we persevered like i said man got no gas in the boat it is what it is fall time's coming jig sales will get better we got some more gas in this boat <laughs> uh, i hope you enjoyed today's video go check out the raffle on the website everything that fish was caught on the micro minnow crappy man green and monkey man. The same thing i preach in every single video appreciate you guys